The strength of the pack is the wolf. The strength of the wolf is the pack. It's no surprise why Wolverhampton Wanderers hunt Chelsea in packs each time we come up against them at the Molyneux Stadium. After an underwhelming performance against Savet on Thursday, Enzo Maresca will be hoping to see some improvement from this young Chelsea team. This match could be won or lost in the midfield. Chelsea's dominant style will be up against a Wolves more counter-attacking approach. The battle against Chelsea's dynamic midfield and Wolves' disciplined units would be fascinating to watch. Another key matchup to look out for would be the Chelsea wingers against the Wolves' fullbacks, which could dictate the flow of the game. Set pieces could also play a crucial role in this game, as Wolves have been known to be very effective at utilizing set piece opportunities. Why Chelsea will be favorites going into the match? Wolves have the ability to make life difficult for the Blues especially if they can stay compact and disciplined defensively. However, with the attacking talent Chelsea possesses, it's hard to look past them getting three points. They expect an entirely new setup for Chelsea. Its players such as Levi Cowell, Wesley Fofana, Mark Perella, Nicolas Jackson, Andrew Mulavia are all rested during midweek. A full strength Chelsea is expected to be on full flow. More so, it remains to be seen if the injury picked up by Cole Palmer would keep him out of the match or neglect him to the bench. Enzo Maresca earlier on confirmed in his press conference that Pedro Neto isn't fit to play a full 90 minute, so we expect him to start from the bench and Noni Madwiki, who had a very impressive cameo over midweek, should come in the place of Pedro Neto. He definitely wouldn't expect Mikhailo Mudrik to start after he had an abysmal performance against Savet in the conference league. So it's going to be interesting to see if Joao Felix makes his start on the left side of the wing or Christopher Nkunku retains his place on the left side. With Romilavia left out of the game on Thursday, it is expected for him to start in the middle of the pack alongside either Enzo Fernandez or Moises Caicedo. Like most teams these days, Wolves tend to defend in a 4-4-2 shape from the front, with sometimes Belgard as it can be seen in the last match against Arsenal marking the central midfielder in Thomas Partey. We expect him to apply the same kind of pressure on Romeo Labia or Enzo Fernandez or whoever gets to partner Romeo Labia. Nicolas Jackson will most likely return to the starting lineup, taking the place of Mark Gugu, who walked his socks off or missed the glorious chance while faced with an open net. Defensively, Wolves tend to build up in a 3-2-5 shape, with Eitnuri tucking in into the middle to form a double pivot with Jao Gomez, Matt Doherty pushing up high on the right side of the attack, and Mario Lemina dropping in into the middle of the defense to form a three-man centre-back partnership. From the Arsenal game, if there's anywhere Chelsea would look to exploit in the Wolves' defense, would be on the left side. Itnori has shown to be a solid left-back over the years for Wolves, but Totti Gomez has shown over and over again that when pressure is applied to him, he feels uncomfortable on the ball. Arsenal exploited this weakness over and over again forcing him to make mistakes and giving clumsy fouls away. The Molineux has always been a tough ground for us, as we've had just two wins in the last seven years at that ground. So we are going to have to see a very patient Chelsea in the build-up and keeping the high line in a well-coordinated manner. With the pace of Matthias Kuna, Belgard and Huang Guichan up front, Wolves could look to exploit Chelsea on the counter. Matthias Kuna most especially will be central to the attacking efforts. His ability to hold up play and link up well, especially if Wolves find themselves under prolonged spells of Chelsea pressure. Wang Hee Chan, who sometimes plays on the flanks, could look to exploit spaces, aiming to get in behind the Chelsea defence and deliver dangerous balls into the box. The battle on the wings could also be crucial if the Chelsea wingers can get the better of the Wolves fullbacks, most especially Matt Doherty. Given the quality in the squad, Chelsea should be expected to win. However, the Wolves have the potential to frustrate the Blues, especially if they can execute their counter-attacking game plan effectively. Chelsea's ability to maintain their defensive solidity while applying pressure in attack would also be crucial. This match is shaping up to be a compelling contest between two teams of different objectives this season. Chelsea will be looking to assert their dominance and keep pace with the top four, while Wolves will be desperate for points to distance themselves from the relegation battle. As always in the Premier League, anything can happen, and this match could prove plenty of excitement 
for Chelsea fans. So thanks for watching the Blue Spotlight. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.